We are learning more about an Uber passenger shot and killed in Buckhead, and police are telling 11 Alive that they believe that that woman was actually targeted. This is Tavi Batty, or Tisha Bruley, a rapper slash OnlyFans model slash dancer who was murdered in Buckhead in a shootout in the back of an Uber after she was ambushed coming home from a club. This was a chilling, targeted attack in the heart of the city. But who was this high-profile victim, and what exactly happened, and why was she targeted in a real-life, almost mob-like hit? I mean, like, who wanted this Instagram model dead enough to not just send one shooter, but multiple shooters, to track and unalive her after her birthday party. Because to be honest, once we dive into this, you're gonna realize that this doesn't seem like something that was done by some random occurrence. This was planned, targeted, and looked like it was done by professionals. But we'll get to that. Now, Tavi Batty was a very popular influencer and entertainer who had thousands of followers online. She was a popular Guyanese influencer and well known for her provocative videos and bubbly personality. And what was supposed to be a celebration for her 31st birthday took an unthinkable turn when her Uber became the scene of a deadly ambush. Now, imagine the Uber driver's shot when he's thinking he's just taking another young woman home from the club like he does every night not knowing that they're being followed to her home and then the escalade they were riding in starts to get sprayed up by these hitmen and the young lady you just picked up is now shooting back and although she did return fire tavi didn't make it, it was rapid fire it looks like she went down to the floor for cover and unfortunately, they don't have suspects right now. But again, this story has a lot of mystery in it and twists. And we'll get into all of that, as well as the details. But first, I am Joe Stone, and this is the Church of Joe Stone podcast, where we find the most shocking and provocative stories and take them to church and give you the information on what's going on outside so this never happens to you. It was 4.30 a.m. Tabby was on her way home from a night celebrating her 31st birthday. The night was probably filled with good drinks, smiles, and music. Lots of dancing and booty shaking. Tabby was only a block away from her home when a dream night turned into a nightmare. A little before 4.30 this morning, this officer responded to a person shot. Upon their arrival, they did in fact find a female shot inside a black Escalade. See, Tavi's Uber was being trailed home. Riding through the Atlanta streets at 4 a.m., she was only a block away from her home in this Chevrolet Escalade, but was caught at an intersection in Buckhead, and that's when things got crazy. Over 20 gunshots echoed throughout the deserted streets, of violence breaking the calm and waking up Tavi's neighbors, who also some called the police. The Uber, which was supposed to keep her safe, till she got home turned into a trap and a bullet riddled cage inside of the car Tavi and the driver are trying to survive this onslaught of bullets while Tavi I guess is shooting back but these shooters knew what they were doing and were able to take Tavi out without ever touching the driver in the midst of all of this as soon as it ends the driver makes a call to 911 and he's so shaken up that he can't even tell them where he's at because he doesn't know and all he can get out is that we're shot someone shot us operator 310 I don't know I'm in the road somebody shot Shut us. Now, according to the information that we have now, there are multiple shooters who fired on the car. And yes, Tavi shot back, putting her in a shootout with her attackers, even though that wasn't enough to save her life. So who were the figures in these cars and why were they after Tavi? Well, we don't have a lot to go on, but this is what we know. Tavi was from Georgetown and moved to the United States with her brother to pursue her musical career, specifically Atlanta, where she was starting to build her following and was getting some notoriety. They traded Georgetown for Atlanta. And although she was a popular OnlyFans model, we really don't know what she could have been involved in that could have led to this. And even the police or department they are confirming that it was targeted that they believe it was targeted and that it was squarely aimed at Tavi they knew who they wanted to get and they got her that was an uber driver she was in an uber and the uber driver was unscathed and the police don't have any suspects but so of course the internet is coming up with his own theories trying to figure out what Tavi could have done what she could have been involved in why someone would want to target why would someone go through all this trouble because something like that would have to be expensive that means somebody probably had to pay for it if it wasn't the person who had an issue with her themselves and Tavi thought she was safe she was taking an Uber. She wasn't driving home drunk. She had someone with her. The Uber driver, you know, it's not like she was just all alone in the car at 4 a.m. in the morning. She was trying to be responsible. Unfortunately, it wasn't enough. And this has been something that's been kind of coming up in Buckhead as the violence from Atlanta is kind of spilling in into the suburb of Buckhead, which is kind of like the rich part of Atlanta. They're actually trying to secede from Atlanta and become their own separate city because of the violence and not in situations like this happening on their streets in a place where it's just not supposed to go down like that. But we will continue to keep you updated as we get more information and more pieces of the puzzle comes together. But right now, to be honest, we really don't know anything because the police themselves don't know anything. And besides internet investigators trying to find something, right now, it looks like the bad guys got away. But hopefully it won't stay that way. Now, let's dive into some of the comments because people had a lot to say when the story broke. I wonder what she was into because they made sure she was dead. Same thing. Everybody's kind of figured that out, including the police. Stop posting locations, influencers. I'm gonna be honest with you. A pro tip is don't post about where you are until you leave. Get all the content that you need. Take the pictures and videos 
videos that you want, post them later. They don't need to know exactly where you are when you are there. I'm sick about this. You just didn't deserve that. I'm sure she didn't. Who set this girl up? Someone knows she was heading home. And again, that is a very good point. Who was involved? Was there other people who were around her who were keeping tabs on her? Was there someone at the club watching her before she left? Were they waiting outside? I wonder if we'll get answers to these questions once the police continue their investigation. But we will let you know as we find out the details. But that's our story for the day. I am Joe Stone and this is the Church of Joe Stone podcast. Well, cool comes to pray. You come to sting. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss another video coming your way. Where we find the most shocking and provocative news and we take that to church.